I would have had you made. Say good night, Mr. Diaz. Grab the wall, wiggle like you're gonna make your ass fall. Hella thick, I wanna smash them all now. With the next Grand Theft Auto announcement coming soon, I want to platinum the entire Grand Theft Auto series. Now with 6 being located in Vice City, I felt like it was time to finally play and platinum the only Grand Theft Auto I've never played. So here we are boys, in this video I'll be platinuming Grand Theft Auto. With my goal being every single GTA platinum possible, I need to use this series guide here to see every single stack that we can possibly get on PS3, PS4, and PS5. There's 14 different ones, however, one of them is unobtainable because Rockstar shut down the server to GTA 5 on PS3 and somehow we still have GTA 4 on PS3, so not sure how that works, but I'll take it. So in total, we have 13 Grand Theft Auto games to platinum and your boy's a little bit nuts and I'm doing the DLC as well. So all of these will be 100% complete, especially to make up for the fact that I can't get GTA 5 on PS3 done anymore. Well, let's go straight into it, boys, because we're not going to get trophies standing here talking, but, uh, if you're new around here... Now, I've heard terrible things about the Definitive Edition, but honestly, what, what could really be wrong with it, right? Now the first thing I want to get out of the way is one of the most annoying trophies in Vice City and it's for maxing out your criminal rating to Godfather rank. Now going for Godfather will get us two trophies, one for getting a butcher rating and then one for getting the Godfather rating, take the cannoli. That's arguably one of the hardest trophies in Vice City. So if we can knock this one out first, it's going to set us up really good for our platinum run. Now in order to do this, what I'm doing is I'm going to the activity on this parking garage and I'm just beating my high score every time. So for the activity, you have to go through these rings and that gives you a score. I'm purposely getting the slowest time. So as you can see, one second and I get $25,000 and that's just for the first one. So then I'll do two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. As I progressively keep making my time faster, I'll not only get more money, but behind the scenes, I'm actually getting my criminal rating up. So I decide to check on the menu and see where my criminal rating is at. And then we pop the butcher trophy. It doesn't end there though because we have to get Godfather so I continue doing this making sure that I'm continuously beating my time and BAM. Look at all that money. Take the cannoli trophy, arguably the hardest trophy in Vice City and we did it right at the start of the game. We're far from done though, we've got a massive journey ahead of us and our next trophy we're going for is called Somebody Call the Wambulance and this is going to be doing all 12 missions of paramedic. This is also going to work towards getting our Tommy Versetti super upgraded and beefed out for the story mode. So what we have to do is grab the patients, bring them to the hospital and get to level 12. And that was very easy until I ran over this guy in front of a fucking cop. And then I ran into this guy in front of another fucking cop. But as the saying goes, everything happens for a reason because then we jump down these stairs, find a bribe and I get a different trophy that I wasn't going for. After having to retry because I completely failed that, I went back through all of the missions of the ambulance, dropped off the passengers, and then I unlocked infinite stamina, unlocking our first upgrade for our boy Tommy here. Now just because we have a lot of money doesn't mean we don't need a job, so we get a job delivering pizzas. And I was fucking miserable at it, man. I didn't even know how to throw the pizza at the person, dude. Bro, it's literally my first day and I'm going to lose my job because again, I lost customer after customer until I finally figured out how to throw the pizza, bro. And then I was like, hey, yo, pizza, motherfucker. <laughs> this pizza is so good. Dad, I'm gay. Yeah. I delivered 10 of them to get another trophy, but I wasn't done delivering pizzas just yet. I had to keep delivering them so that way I could get to level 10 on the pizza delivery mission and then upgrade my health to 150, but this would count as another upgrade towards Tommy. 
Now, not only is this an upgrade, but this goes towards the 100%, which is required for another trophy, and you have to do a lot of things in this game. This is an entire list of everything I need done in order to get this platinum, because that final trophy there, done it all, is going to require a lot of effort from my end. With the 100% explained, let's jump into our next vehicle submission, which is the taxi. We have to drop off 25 passengers for a trophy, but for the 100% completion, we have to do 100. The only good thing about this is we unlock a sick ass jump with the taxi at 100. And now every taxi can hop. I know, right? That's definitely worth the one hour invested to drop off 100 passengers. So obviously I'm pretty excited about that but we're missing one final ingredient, a cell phone, and then our Tommy will be completely upgraded. And yeah, we could go to the store, but we're just gonna beat the shit out of this chef and then grab his cell phone. And with that being done, we have completely finished our Tommy and we're ready to tackle the main story. Now, since I never played Vice City, the main story was kind of nutty. Like literally at the start of the game, we grab a hammer and just stop, have a time. Every time you see me, the hammer's just then shortly after, we're starting a riot at a warehouse, and this is actually where we get our first story-related trophy, Legal Counsel. Continuing the story, we get to our first missable trophy. Now, there's only two in the game, and this one is for killing the property developer with a golf club. And I uh, thought this was going to go a lot easier, but as you can see here, I fucked up quite a lot. They let a chainsaw through. They said, look, man, you can't bring a, <laughs> can't bring a gun, but you can have a chainsaw. America, bro. America 101. Oh man, what a beautiful day for some golf. Oh bro, you guys aggro instantly? Who does that? What, why are you guys so angry? <clears throat> what? Bro, how am I supposed to get his ass out the golf cart now? Move, granny. Wait, can I just kick him out? That's so much better. Oh my god. Hey yo, stop being a dickhead, bro. Finally. Hey, irony, bro. I made that look so easy. Our next missable trophy is actually a gold trophy. This one's called Choppered Up. We're using an RC helicopter to go through this demolition site, and we have to kill all of the workers on site with the propeller blades of the RC. Sounds pretty easy, right? Well, actually, it was pretty easy, but then I forgot we were being timed, so I still tried to quickly finish. This is a stormtrooper. There it is, Choppered Up, even though we didn't even kill everyone. Nice, bro. That's a gold? Holy shit, man. We're beast. 18 seconds. Go, go, go. Let's go. Now, our next trophy is called the South American Connection. And Diaz wants us to steal a boat, bring it back to him, but he doesn't let us know that we are going to get jumped by everyone and their dog. So as we make our getaway with the boat, I'm taking out all of those members. As you can see, I definitely didn't miss every fucking single shot there. And then we took down the helicopter and got my trophy. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Now we may have got the trophy, but just when I thought things couldn't get worse, we had to take out some gang members and steal a hearse. And honestly, this is where we really see the definitive edition at its true form. Oh God, I need to get out of here, bro. This is the police as well. What, 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 what? Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Sick, bro. They fixed this game. Bro, I got busted? Bro, how the dude? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Bro, he throw that dude's body out the window? He said, banana, banana, banana. Bro, how many bodies you got back there, bro? <laughs> what? How many bodies he got? Huh? He got like a, an infinite amount of bodies. God damn! Our next trophy is called Salutations, my little friend. And this one, we have to kill Diaz with the M4. If we don't, then we can miss the trophy. So this is actually admissible as well. I fucked up. All right, here's the trophy. Wait, what? How many times I gotta shoot this motherfucker? Oh yeah, and the AI just likes to dodge out quite a lot in this game, you know? It's part of the definitive experience. Why is he just watching me, bro? He's just standing there, menacingly! Salutations, my little friend. A nice gold trophy too, dude, damn.
With Diaz defeated, we end up keeping the mansion and now we're ready to take on Vice City even more and make it our own. And the next mission is Life of the Party. And this one here, we're on a yacht defending it. And I'll use the M4 again because it's just super strong and takes out the helicopters like nothing. And as long as we beat this mission without dying, we get our next trophy. But look at this guy. He looked like Barnacle Boy, man. Bro, he's a bad shot, man. He's worse than me. How do you miss all that, dummy? Life of the party. Now the next mission is the example on how you don't do this mission. I had no idea what the hell I was supposed to do for some reason. I was supposed to actually dress up as the police and yeah, man, it was just a big ordeal. Was I supposed to put the car in here? But, but the car doesn't have any significance. We just took this car randomly. Oh, we're putting a bomb on it, right? Dude, do I have brain damage? The cop car. That's why there's a cop car here. Bro, I don't even want to tell you guys how long I spent on this. I brought the car in, I took it out, I took another car in, I took the cop car in, I took that out, and then I finally got the cop's attention, and fuck me, man. I did not know what I was doing in this fucking mission, bro. Wait, what? why did you stop? Dude, the AI in this game is so bad. What? I have a star, and they're just like, just hanging around. which one of you around here is Dirty Dan? I am, motherfucker. Chase me. Damn, bro, what are you guys doing? Yo, did Lance take him out? Bro, chill. I can't explain how mad I was to finally get this far and get screwed. Um, the lockup door is blocked. Oh my God, bro. There ain't no way that just happened. The lockup door is blocked. What? So out of desperation, I just start throwing grenades to hopefully clear the lockout door and that didn't work. Bro, I'm just trying to not get more notoriety <laughs> whatever i was getting mad for no reason i finally managed to pull it off and go in the cafe to where we would plant the bomb and then escape from all of the cops and then be done with this oh my god bro five star wanted level no way oh bro no 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 i'm so dead bro they're gonna penetrate every inch of me never mind i blew up Awesome. Whatever, bro. Unlucky attempt. Whatever. We're going to just retry it. We got it this time. Like, honestly, man, this mission's not that bad now that I know exactly what to do. <sighs> oh, shit. Thank God we're police, bro. They didn't give a fuck. Yeah, honestly. Oh, bro. Please, 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 please. Bro, that car just spawned. Bro, what? Hello. Bro, the draw distance is dookie cheese. What is this? Oh. Ooh, peace boy finally bro i'm gonna escape Ah, oh, bro i landed on a car get fucked come on bro please no get out get out why do i get out so slow ah! i can taste victory bro we're so close Dodge the cars. Ooh, don't, don't, don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. <laughs> oh, bro. We're literally here. Don't flip. Ooh, that would have been one of those That's moments, so man, that I was telling you about. Bro, they're at my home. They're at my place of, of living. Fucking assholes. Easy. That wasn't too bad. Bruh. Yeah, so with that easy mission out of the way, our next one was Tommy Two Wheels. And this one has our boys pinned behind the ammunition. So we need to rob a bike and then use these stairs to ramp behind it, clear the area, and then steal the bike and make it back out alive. Then we can deliver the bike and pop our trophy once the mission's completed. Our next mission has us working with Danny Trejo. He has a simple request. He just wants us to infiltrate. Hey! Oh, okay, he's gonna interrupt me. Hey, ladies! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. Ah, 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 ah. Great, so not only did he just interrupt me, but now I have to do this mission while I'm aroused. But as I was saying, he wants us to grab a gang car so we fit in, and then we can make our way into this gang hideout. Now, once we're inside, we need to run past everyone and plant three bombs, and then quickly make our escape so that way we can get the trophy. Sounds really easy, guys, right? Well, it never honestly is, is it? Bye. Dude, he's taking him. What? It said I left him behind, bro. Bro, what?
After a couple of mishaps, we finally planted all three bombs, made the escape, and then got our trophy. Our next trophy on the list is Chauffeur, and for this one, we have to basically be a chauffeur for this rock band. But, unfortunately, someone's put a bomb on their car. So, we do as we say and we handle this. We have to keep the car at a certain speed to keep it from detonating. If you go under that speed, the detonation bar will fill up, and if the detonation bar fills up, which obviously never happened, and we got them to the show on time, and we got our trophy. Now that we're so far into the story, we can actually buy property, and I mean, money isn't an issue, right? Because of what we did at the beginning of the game. So I went around and bought all of the properties I could, which also unlocked new asset missions. And of course, since GTA games are grindy, those asset missions go towards our 100%. During this step, we also bought 10 of them, which was another trophy. Now that we have the asset missions unlocked, I decided to do some side quests as well, like some of the choppers and planes. And during one of the planes, I realized, you know what? They really didn't give a fuck about these games, did they? So, uh... I didn't pause the game, bro. The game just kind of stopped, bro. They really did fuck these remasters up, huh? Our next trophy is called Not My First Time. On this mission, we have to go through the entire mission without falling off the rooftops here. As you can see, we're traversing over the rooftops to get to a spotlight so we can then turn the spotlight onto a building and complete the mission. But if we fall even once, it's going to void the trophy and we would have to restart the entire mission, which would be fucking ass. All right, we got to do this without fucking up. What the fuck was that cutscene, dude? What even was that cutscene? Yeah, I failed before and I went back up the elevator and that didn't happen again. So of course it was another glitch. But we went through the rooftops trying our best to not fall. I was not going fast. Oh, bro, I'm getting by by like a bee's dick on each jump, bro. How, bro? How would you be able to do this fast enough? No shot. After failing miserably, I killed myself, and then I restarted, made it all the way to the end, lost my bike. What happened? I crashed? But it didn't matter, because I was there. Oh no, that's the end, right? I could finally suck on the sweet teat of success, because I won. Are those boobies, bro? Never really seen boobies before. I think it just fucking froze after all of that. Oh my god, dude, there's no fucking way, bro. There's no way, man. This game is robbing me, bro. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. Just end it? I'm about to, man. This life is too fucking hard. Oh, you mean the game? I still stand by what I said. Like, what? After restarting my game for who knows how many times at this point in the game, I did it again, went through the entire mission, and we got our missable trophy, boys, just like that. The frustration didn't end there. I had to sell coke from an ice cream truck. Yeah, that kind. And uh, I kept messing up. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no! After like my 8th attempt, I finally sold over 50, which completed the Cherry Popper ice cream mission. And then, I was able to relax, because the next mission sent us to a strip club. Unfortunately, there's no guys. Like, like not for me, like my preference, but like for people who are watching this preference, there wasn't any guys. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I just came here for some pussy. <laughs> what? I just came here for some pussy, bruh. <laughs> the way he said it. After spending $300 on Boo Boo Kitty Fuck, we ended up completing the mission, and then that was our final asset mission. This means it's time to end the story. The next trophy we're going to be going for is called Mischief Managed, and for this one, we have to complete the last mission in the game, the last story mission. This is also where we find out about the top 10 anime betrayals. Literally someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? 
Sorry, Tommy. This is Vice City. This is business. <laughs> you sold us out. No. I sold you out. I sold you out. That's right, Lance betrays us after all this time, after everything we've done together. This is where it ends. This is the final mission. It gets very hectic and there's a lot of gunfire. It pretty much reminded me of my math class back in America. Lance is a buster, bro. I thought he was really cool in this game. Yeah, what a dick, bro. I'm actually kind of hurt over that because I was like, yo, he's kind of beast. And then he's like, nope, I'm an asshole. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It says get some downstairs. I had 17 health, bro. I was a bee's dick away from dying. You know, Ken, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful business relationship. After all, you're a conniving, backstabbing, two-bit thief. And I'm a convicted psychotic killer and drug dealer. <laughs> With the main story out of the way, we can now go for one of the biggest collectible trophies in the game, which is collecting all 100 packages. This can be annoying because they're in places like rooftops, hidden under buildings, just all kinds of random shit. But we're not going to get trophies just sitting here. So let's get to it. Ah, uh, finally, boys. Our last collectible, and it's inside this military base. I'm just gonna run upstairs, and I'm not seeing it, and okay. Yep, yeah, it's not in the base. What the actual fuck? Okay, and then I realized it actually isn't in the base at all, and I'm an idiot. It's right behind the sign of the base. A lot safer to get, and there it is, boys. 100 packages for a nice gold trophy. City Sleuth. But we still have a lot of cleanup to go. Now, even though we have a lot of cleanup still to do, I decided to go for a random miscellaneous trophy. One is better than two, just to boost our morale and get another trophy, get the dopamine going. We have to wheelie for 30 seconds. Aw, oh, bro, this, this has got to be the trophy, man. I feel it. This has got to be a 30 second wheelie. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, come on. I'm almost out of street. Come on. Please. 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 41 seconds, let's go! One is better than two. I need more dopamine, so the next thing we decide to do is go through all the radio stations so we can get the trophy born in the 80s. Never take a L no more. Never take a damn thing. We like me and my friends because we're all gay. We like dick. I like his ass because it's thick. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know who decided the songs in this game. Our next trophies are going to be Running Rampant and Catch Me If You Can. Now, the best way to do this is in the Vigilante that we unlocked for getting all 100 packages. The reason being is we can just go around and blast everything in our way, get through Vigilante Mission Level 12, and get our Wanted Level to 6 stars for the Catch Me If You Can. The Vigilante trophy popped really easily, and then I could focus on getting my 6 star Wanted Level. Hey, running rampant trophy, boys. And our max body armor is 150. Now, can we get a six star wanted level? That's the other question. What happened next was foreshadowing for what was to come. What? What just happened to my textures? Oh my god. This is the definitive edition? Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. The game that keeps on giving. Even though my textures were tripping out, we were still able to go for the 6 star wanted level. Oh, there it is! I got the 6 star wanted level! And all it cost me was my textures. The dopamine train doesn't stop there because I'm going for the next trophy, which is high quality H2O. We have to extinguish 10 fires, but the reason being is remember the done it all trophy for the 100%? Well, we also have to do 78 fires in total, so that way we can complete all the firefighter missions. However, someone in chat said you could drive the fire truck straight into the mansion and then just drive it out and it just puts out the fires. I don't understand why and I don't care. I'm not a botanist. I got my trophy, boys, and that's what matters in life. Very nice, huh? 
How much? There is still so much to get done for the 100%. We have the off-road missions. We have RC flying missions. We have RC land missions. Which the RC missions actually give us a trophy as well, which is cool. With those vehicle missions out of the way, I actually started doing rampages, which is where you get a special task and you just have to kill the enemies within the time limit. Now there's over 35, and in this mission I had to kill 25 within 2 minutes, so... Let's start subtracting! Now these Rampage missions are much easier than GTA 3, like literally all of them, except maybe this Katana. Dude, why the fuck did I get $50 good citizen bonus for decapitating that dude? All oh, right, the USA. My bad. Oh, and there's Bull in China Shop. Yeah, we got that while doing the Rampages. Nice. Now I did say the Rampages are much easier than GTA 3, but God, that doesn't mean I didn't get unlucky sometimes. Come on, bro, I gotta get it this time. Don't die. Don't die, we're so close. Oh, bro, there's so many police officers. Oh, he's deleting me. Come on, come on, two more. One more. Dude, there's no way some civilian ran me over when I had one left. Bro, there's no way. Yeah, drive-by is usually really good. Oh, except they flattened my tire, bro. Dickheads. Did that cop just go like Kaioken on me or something? After passing all of that bullshit, we get another miscellaneous trophy to boost our spirits again, and this one's called Keepy Uppy Okie Dokie, and we've got to bounce this beach ball on our head five times in a row. And, uh, yeah, make this look fucking miserable. Bro. This is miserable, dude. I got it, though. Hey, let's go. Keepy Uppy Okie Dokie. With lifted spirits, we go back towards the 100% grind, and we have this stadium here, and every night they're gonna have a different show, and today was the Blood Ring, where we basically just smash into cars. And then the next day, we had to do some obstacle shit on a Sanchez, like... Dude, this is a ball ache, bro. Like, look at that, man. You're getting contact miserability, bro, from seeing me do that, bro. Seven minutes, bro. That's seven minutes of my life in that one mission. With those behind us, another part of the 100% is getting all of the cars imported to this garage. There's a big list of them and it keeps refreshing once you finish. After our first list though, we unlock a car. This is the Deluxo. We're gonna feed two birds with one scone because not only are we going for the 100%, but now we can go for don't need roads for hitting the max speed in the Deluxo. However, that doesn't mean we're finished with the auto list, which leads us into our next trophy and this one's called Grand Theft Auto. He said it, he said it. Even though we have the Deluxo unlocked, we didn't finish the import list. So here I go throughout Vice City, grabbing all of the cars I need, looking everywhere for them, collecting anything I can, golf cart, a fucking moped, man. They want everything. And after about two hours, like damn, two hours, dog? You, you playing with your mouth? Okay, what matters is we got all the cars and got it done, but now we need to rob all of the stores within Vice City, and there's around 25. That's right, even the well-stacked pizza company, they're gonna get robbed too. You just have to point... Okay, I'm in the wrong fucking place. It's actually the jewelry store across the street, I just messed up. With every store robbed, it's time to tackle Daredevil. There is 36 stunt jumps in this game, and you have to make sure that you do a good enough jump to actually get the bonus and the reward, otherwise it doesn't count. You need all 36 for the 100%, and I thought it would be cool to pop the 100% and Platinum by doing the last jump for the Platinum. You know, just a nice slow-mo shot, look really cool. But, uh, I made an awful mistake. But we'll get right into that here shortly. What we'll actually be doing is going for a final trophy that's needed before we pop the final stunt jump and, you know, the 100%. And this one's called I'm Famous, which basically you just have to do a lot of bad shit, blow up cars, and then get published in the media. Once you shoot around and kill enough people, then when you go into your menu, you should have a media rating and that should pop the trophy. However, I wasn't ready for what was gonna happen next.
That's right, boys. Grove Street Games effed me again. And here we are, back at 83% complete. You see what happened, boys? I did all of the stunt jumps and saved just one, but they don't auto-save after you complete them because they're not a mission or anything. So I had to redo them all and then go for this trophy. Now, having to go through that as well, this platinum was going to taste that much sweeter when I finally got it. So... I went back to defeating civilians until I would get published in the media, and then I would have to redo the remaining stunt jumps that didn't save. With the end and the platinum in sight, I waste no time and I start going back through all of the stunt jumps again. The only thing keeping me tied to actually finishing is being that close to victory. And then it was time for us to finally pop our platinum. It's platy time, boys. I'm a haul dick, bro. I'm gonna land on this fucking police station. Ready? Let's get this platy, boys. Oh. Done it all. Daredevil and Kingpin. The platy for Vice City. Ooh. Look at that shit, bro. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you want to see how I'm going to go with the rest of the GTA series, make sure you subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with it. Other than that, I just appreciate your time. Hope you had a good time with me. And more importantly, if you're one of the real ones who made it to the end of the video, why don't you leave a comment below that says Kingpin. Thanks again, everybody, and I will see you in the next one.